The first finalist in the Corporate Employer of the Year category is Batdorf and Bronson Coffee Roasters. From their beginning 30 years ago, Batdorf and Bronson has been committed to exceptional coffee, extraordinary customer service, and meaningful partnerships, providing specialty coffees to restaurants, bakery cafes, and coffee houses. Batdorf and Bronson stands out in the crowded specialty coffee industry by choosing to keep their niche intact, preferring to be seen as a neighbor that roasts and brews coffee rather than as a corporate entity. The focus remains on the coffee and the science behind it while avoiding the trap of chasing trends. Batdorf and Bronson works hard to foster community relationships. They provide free coffee to nonprofit events and they commissioned a local artist for their distinctive dancing goat statue outside their tasting room. Many of their employees volunteer on the boards of directors for community programs such as Sustainable South Sound and the Olympia Downtown Association. The second finalist in this category is Capital Medical Center. Established in 1985, Capital Medical Center is a medium-sized bread-and-butter community hospital. Thirty years later, they continue to provide a large segment of the population with exceptional yet affordable care. Capital Medical Center provides acute, general, and emergent care, obstetrics, oncology, wound care, imaging, neurosurgery, and more. Their skilled doctors and support staff are compassionate and dedicated, and their philosophy of improving the healthcare experience is achieved through cutting-edge technology, collaboration with care providers such as University of Washington, and upgrades throughout the hospital. They are the first in Washington to provide Maser Robotics-assisted spine surgery. The hospital is also newly furnished with hyperbaric chambers and a cardiac catheter lab. They have also recently renovated the ICU, ER, and women's clinic. Their community advocacy is profound. Between 2011 to 2013, Capital Medical Center provided over $40 million in charitable services, and they support a variety of charities and nonprofits as well, with over $100,000 in donations into the community per year. The third finalist in the Corporate Employer of the Year category is Stormins Inc. Established in 1941, Stormins is run by third generation siblings Kevin and Greg Stormins and Sherelle Fagey. They advocate strengthening the local economy, fostering a sense of dedication, commitment, and care for the community they serve. Ralph's Thriftway, Bayview Thriftway, Catering, School of Cooking, Remedies Compounding Pharmacy, and Celebrations are all part of the Stormins brand. Stormins is keen to respond to changing customer demands by adding self-checkouts, a kombucha filling station, and a variety of kegs and taps in both grocery stores. Employing a philosophy of cooperation and respect, they entrust team members with autonomy in management, decision-making, and customer satisfaction. They host many celebrations throughout the year for the community for Valentine's Day, Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and more. From these events and generous donations to sitting on boards and committees of numerous charitable organizations, Stormins fortifies the community on so many levels. And the award for the 2015 Corporate Employer of the Year goes to Batdorf and Bronson Coffee Roasters. Batdorf and Bronson started in 1986 on a little store, 800 square foot store, right on Capitol Way. Uh, right now in Olympia, we have our downtown uh, Batdorf and Bronson coffee house. We have our roastery here, and we have a tasting room connected to our roastery. Uh, we have the Dancing Goats Espresso Bar across from the farmer's market here in Olympia. And then in Atlanta, Georgia, we have a roastery and two retail locations. At present, we have 87 employees. And our people really are proud of what they do every day. And that comes across in the coffee that we roast. From the time that coffee seed is stuck in the ground at origin until the time you, you know, extract an espresso and, and slide that cup of coffee across the table to the end user. Every step in that process has a, a level of detail and attention that you need to pay in order to just 
provide the best product that you can provide. Um, none of our equipment is, our roasting equipment is, is computerized. Um, it's all more or less done by hand. It is the, the craft of roasting coffee. So we take a sample of every roast that we do and we'll sit down at the end of the day or the next production day um, and, and taste those coffees and make sure that you know the first load of Costa Rica we do tastes the same as the second and third load of Costa Rica we do. Our owners, Larry and Sherry Shalane, um, had decided when they, when they got involved with Batdorf from Bronson in 1990, said, we are building a hundred year company, a company that lasts beyond their lifetime. The hundred years is really just kind of, it's us trying to, once again, look at something bigger than any, bigger, that's bigger than any one of us. One of the things that I love about Batdorf is there are a lot of bright, intelligent, hardworking, passionate people and people really know when to set aside the ego to get something done for the common core that's bigger than any of them could have done on their own. And that's been it, that ethos and the way we've done things since before many of us ever worked here and what it was one of the things that attracted us to coming to work here in the first place. Um, I think one of the things we have here that's kind of the, the guiding light for every decision we make at Bad Dwarf and Bronson is what we call the right way to document. Um, every decision we make, um, the question we're always asking ourselves is what's, what's the right way of, of doing this? And you know, if you think of things in those terms, I think it makes some of the decisions you make pretty obvious. We really want to have a positive impact on the communities we serve. It's important to our basic philosophy of running a business. It is about the coffee, but it's much more about the people, the environment, and being in this community.